the table light, the cordless hand tools are the light drill driver, the circular saw, the jigsaw, and of course that halogen light. For £279.99, pence, we're talking about competitive pricing, but what we've really got here is an opportunity for you to get hold of it for under £100 with, of course, that flexi pay for our existing UK customers of £93.33. Pence. Now, it's right. disappeared. I'll what put next? the case on the floor for quickly, just so, so I can show you a bit more about the drill. Yes. Okay, so this is a cordless drill driver, which basically means you can drill holes and you can drive in screws. To do that, you've got torque control here, which means when you're driving large screws or any size screw, you can drive that in, and when it reaches a certain point, it'll stop driving it, so you get a nice flush finish on top oh, of that. Okay. Uh, Two-speed gearbox, so you've got high and low range. So if you need to go at low speeds with very high torque, you put it in low gear, and if you want to drill a hole, you put it in high speed and cut very cleanly. Uh, in the end here, I put one of the uh, magnetic driver bits. Uh, you can see it just pops in the end there. And I'll show, quickly show you, once driving in one of these eight, uh, two and a half inch screws, uh, into this piece of timber here. So there's no, I've drilled no pilot holes. No. So there's no pilot hole there. Put it, I'll put it into low gear. And then Do you I'll not always need pilot holes? I thought no, that don't. was like standard form. You have to drill a pilot hole. Um, if you drill a pilot hole, it makes it much easier work for the drill. And also it stops you from splitting the wood. But this isn't a piece of art I'm doing here. I just want to show you the power of the product. Fantastic. So I've just started the screw into the thing there. And I'll quickly show you how quickly you can drive that two and a half inch screw in. So can you hear the drills not even struggling at all? No, not and at all. And it goes. And I've stopped their flush, but it would drive it all the way through. Isn't that brilliant? Very quickly. Uh, I'll, so I'll you've got great quality tools that have got the power, that have got the mechanisms. You've not skimped on the functionality, have no, you? Not you've so. got that gearing system, you've got the torque settings. I mean, the thing is, when you look at something like this, that's such a clever concept, sometimes the quality exactly. suffers, doesn't it? It's normally it? a jack of all trades, not good at any. Exactly. But this isn't like that. This product is good at what it does. These tools aren't compromised by doing the extra functionality that they have. Well, that was the one thing I was slightly concerned about. And again, I know I keep going on about it, but if you could just go and have a look see at that website, make sure you order from us. And the reason I'm saying that is because that's the only way you're going to get um, a chance to spread the cost. Uh, FlexiPay, 93.33. We've got this amazing price, 279.99. Um, if you've got questions and queries, please, he's here. This is live. We're in at about, I think, 25 past nine in the morning. Chris is the inventor. So please feel free to email him, studio at idealworld.tv. Dan is Magic Hands today. He will grab your emails, run straight over to Chris with them. Questions, queries, concerns that you may have. Fully backed by a money-back guarantee as well. That's so right. people have got that confidence to You've buy. Got, they've got a 12-month warranty in all the parts. If you experience any problems, please give me a call. I want to hear about them so I can fix them for other people. But we've not had hardly any problems with this case at all. Excellent. It's really good. So the feedback's been very positive for very you Very positive. We get professionals, tradesmen that buy it because they want to put it in the van and take it out with them on, on the site and home users like me and you who just want to do all the jobs around the house without having to pay a tradesman to come in to do them. Well, and of course, the thing is you do pay the tradesman because they have got the tools. Well, now you'll have the tools exactly. because the thing is they have made so many amazing DIY products available to us as sort of home users, but you still need all the tools to be able to actually put the kitchens in, put the flooring in, put the data rails up, you know, all those things, That's don't right. we? That's right. So let me show you a bit more. That, uh, the, the driver bit there I use for driving the screws, yes. I didn't point out that on the back of here, you We've got driver bit storage for a couple of driver bits. So there's a double-ended Phillips driver piece there, and this side you've got two flat So you're carrying drivers. them with you? So you know to hunt around for them again. They're all in the product. <laughs> you really have thought I, of everything. I put a 10mm uh, drill bit in there. I wanted to show you quickly. I've changed from low gear into high now, gear. Now, do you get the drill bits with, or do you have to buy the drill bits up It comes with the set. Fantastic. So I'm going to just show you that. And now, a problem with drilling holes into timber freehand is you can never be sure what accuracy you're going to get. Yeah. But sometimes you need to do it freehand. So I'll just show you freehand quickly like this. Timber. Gracious me. See that? No problem at all. That's Absolutely. a 10 mil drill straight into the piece of wood. And that's in high gear as well. It wasn't struggling at all. Not at all. And so, I, I was going to say, sometimes, I think more often than not, you have to do um, drilling freehand. Because it's always, at the, you know, when you're trying to do the bits into the ceiling or the high joists of the beams, I always think about this when the Christmas decorations go up and you need a hook in a spot so that you can hang the lights. Do you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> up so, a ladder, you have to have a cordless drill, don't you? So I brought the case back up now. Uh, I'm putting the post back on the back there. Clipsing, as like, simple as that. Just like that. that. Uh, and then I'm putting the drill onto the top of the post here. 
Uh, the battery is the power source again, so we put that one into the case here, into the charger. Now that's supplying power to that. We haven't plugged anything in, it's still running all according to So this is not, it's like one of those magic tricks. Look, there is absolutely that's right, nothing. You can lift it up, look, uh, look underneath, there's, there's nothing, nothing underneath, underneath there. There's nothing underneath, I'm your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, on the back here you've got question. this lever. Why, um, why would you need to you do need this? That because it, the, to adjust the height of the drill okay. press, the thickness of the material or the length of the drill that you're doing, lock that down. Uh, Put, use that put part that you're going to use with a push stick here. Yes. That can go on the left or the right side, depending if you're left or right-handed. So let's just pop that in there like that. Now that part operates the drill. That's, that's where you get the pressure from. And that's why a drill press is sometimes better to use than a handheld drill. One thing, it's holding the drill perfectly vertical. If you need a perfectly ver uh, perpendicular hole, this is the product to use. And also, you've got that lever. You can apply a lot of pressure. If you've got some hard material like uh, aluminium or steel and you need to really push onto that timber, uh, that piece of material, you can use that lever to apply that extra force. Isn't that absolutely excellent? Again, the controls are here, on off. You've still got access to your high and low speed at the top here. Uh, and obviously, you can just uh, put your drill bit in here. No problem at all. Tighten that up. It's a, it's a keyless chuck as well. There's no keys or anything like that to need. So let's just see that. So put your timber underneath there. You can switch it on at the side here. That's in low gear at the moment. I want high gear for this drill bit. So you just switch that down. Off you go again. Hold, hold the timber and off over the drill. Straight through, as simple as that. Now, bef as before, I was holding it by hand. It could have gone anywhere. We know that that hole now is perfectly perpendicular and through that And it's completely wood. straight. That's right. And if you've got hundreds of holes to do, Imagine how straining that is to do by hand. You put it in the drill press here, bash, 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 all the way through. And you can take a pocket out of there, or if you wanted to make a window in a piece of wood, use a drill press. That would be the way for you to do it. Well, listen, um, let's do some more. I want to see what else there is, because the thing is, I know that with the... And I always say this to you, when I sometimes feel a bit overwhelmed by sort of how awesome a product is, with the best one in the world, we won't get to show you absolutely everything, even though we've got the luxury of some time with you. Get hold of this, try it out, see how you feel about it. Money-back guarantee from the team here at Ideal World, backed by 12-month guarantee from Chris and his team. Very confident that you're going to love using this tool. Yeah, what next? Very confident. Right, should we go on to the jigsaw now, then? Let's do that. So, let's take the back to pack out again we can put that on to the back of the jigsaw and we've got a cordless jigsaw here Un completely uncompromised by its extra functions i'll show you later uh, if we move over to this piece of timber on the end here which i bolted to the desk earlier for okay. safety um, so i haven't drawn a line on here but normally you'd have a line on here to show the cut that you want to make okay so imagine that i've got the circuit saw in there you just operate the switch you can start the speed very slowly to get your saw in exactly the right position you want. And then your two hands. As simple as that. Very powerful. This is a piece of hardwood. It's just gone through it very cleanly. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can see how cleanly that's cut that piece it's of timber. Abso it's such a shame that it's, it's not the other way around so that you could see. But do, do you think, Chris, you could do me another a one just over there so no we can problem. show people? Just clean that off again. You just push that down there. Start it off very slowly into the wood. Simple as that. And you? look at that. Isn't that absolutely... I mean, that is what you're looking for. And what you're normally having to do is go and buy standalone tools. And if I can just quickly run you by this. This is a tool that literally sweeps the board with what you're going to need. There are eight tools and it's actually a workbench. I mean, the point is it's completely standalone. That's right. Uh, in as much as you don't have to have power to it. You know, normally you'd have to have a workshop and you'd have leads you've got and cables. cables all and over the place. That's right. And you've got to find your extension as yes. well. It's normally plugged in somewhere else with the kids' toys upstairs or something. And uh, you need all of those adapters, don't you? That's and right, yeah. you, oh, you, Then, of course, you out everything because you're, you're using too much outside, power. You've got the problem of raining. If it's wet, you don't want to put plugs outside. No. But you get all around that problem.